Hello everyone. So today I'm going to play around with a mold that I've had for a while and I haven't had a chance to do anything with because I haven't been in my art room for quite some time. If you follow my channel or you're in my Facebook group, um, you know why and I've taken a about a two to three month break slowly working my way back so if you are if this is your first time at my channel welcome and I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button I am going to try to post at least one video a week to start out I might have a bonus video here and there but I'm going to try to at least commit to once a week. Um, so, we'll try it from there. Anyway, this is a octopus mold. And the head on him is quite deep. He's going to take a lot of resin. So right now I have 10 ounces of resin. And I'm just going to just play... I have... Um, this is... KS Resin Liquid Art. Um, the rest of his body is not that deep, so I wouldn't need a casting resin. But you can, by all means, use a casting resin. But I am going to play with alcohol inks. So I find that if I use a casting resin with alcohol inks, it doesn't like, it's so thin that the inks don't do that petri dish type thing so I'm going to try to do just a basic petri dish octopus so I have some marabou inks here again I haven't used them yet but these are the metallic line um, blues and greens and purples I don't know how those are going to work metallics are sometimes heavier so they might just blob right to the bottom. And I have some neons. So, we're going to find out together what happens here. Hopefully it doesn't just blob. I should probably go with what I know and just use regular alcohol inks. Because then I know it's going to work. But, I'm not going to find out. And I'm just going to... If I use regular alcohol inks, I'm going to always wonder, would that work? So we're going to find out now. Although I could find out like on a smaller piece that doesn't use as much resin, but hey. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to put clear resin in. And because his head is so big, I'm going to kind of try to let the, whoa, slow down there, Turbo. It's not a race. Who are you racing with? Who are you racing with? You're not racing nobody. You're an octopus. Whoa. I'm not a fan of this big cup. Ooh, there's lots of bubbles in here. I should have let it sit. It's kind of chilly down in my basement, too. So I probably should have let it warm up. <laughs> Looks like I'm doing everything wrong, right? Well, you're coming along for the ride with me. We're gonna, oh, shit. And we're going to do everything wrong together. And see what kind of catastrophe we can make.
notch some resin. Hopefully it doesn't stick to the board. Can't really pick my octopus up. So it is what it is. All right. Let's see about these new inks. Well, now they're really not that new, are they? This one is neon blue. So we're just going to drop some colored inks. I hope you all are doing well. And staying healthy. I'm trying, but it's about that time to uh, head to Michigan again. So this one is Michigan or Michigan. Neon pink. So I usually end up getting sick when I'm in Michigan, but hopefully it won't happen this time. I've had pneumonia three times this year. I think I put too much resin in. I don't know. There's not any rhyme or reason as to what I'm doing here, guys. This one is the metallic blue. That's not open. Nope. I hate opening inks. Ooh, it's really pretty. Does some pretty dancing. Doesn't look like it's totally sinking. So that's good. Wow, that is really pretty. I mean, it's acting like a regular ink so far. Wow. It's really pretty. To a metallic purple. Actually, you know what? Let's throw some white on there. So you just want to take the white and go over your colored inks. 
and it helps it sink just a bit. This is by no means a new technique, so I'm sure you guys have seen it a million times. So after I get this white, I'm going to just go through the colors and I will time lapse it. I'll zoom you in and time lapse ya. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna get you zoomed in here. time lapse you know
Okay, guys. I'm going to take you in on a little close-up. I put a lot of inks in, as you could tell. But there's a lot of metallics, and they're not sinking like I thought they were. And then I put the rainbow, marabou rainbow in there, too. So, hopefully they will sink slowly and make the pea tree look. Hopefully he looks pretty cool. See the metallics in that? I don't know if you can see that with the... That metallic blue is so pretty. But I am going to let it cure and then I will come back for the unmolding and we will see what he's doing. Unfortunately, it's not transparent enough to see if it's sinking at all. But hopefully he looks pretty cool. Otherwise, I've just wasted eight ounces of resin. I wonder if I should give it a little spritz with alcohol, like just regular alcohol, just to get him dancing again. I think I should. Should I, huh? Let's see. Get the colors dancing again. Probably shouldn't have done that. It's so cool to watch. Okay, I'll bring you back for the unmolding, guys. See you then. And just kind of pop it out as we go down his body. I loosened it up. But these little pieces that go in there. It's very awkward. Come on, little octopus. Like I said, it's not <clears throat> sticking to the mold. It's just a awkward shape. Oop, this one's really bendy. I probably took put too much alcohol ink. Sometimes if you put too much alcohol ink on the top, it doesn't cure as hard. But if it's out of the once it's out of the mold, it will cure up the rest of the way. Come on, dude. Come on. Give me your little arms. And you don't want to rip because you'll rip one of his arms right off. Because like I said, he is still bendy. Come on. can't get my fingers in there. Come on. Once I get him out, I'll bring him close up and we'll look at him together because I haven't seen the other side of him. 
Whoa. Okay, he's out. Let's see. Ready? This is what he looks like on the back. Get his little tentacles. See, this one's pretty bendy. But it will harden up. Ready to see him? I'm kind of excited. Here we go. Aww. Ooh, look at how deep his head look. I mean, his head is deep. But look at it. You can totally see the metallic inks. Oh, so many layers, and I did them all in one layer, and it just looks so flippin' cool. Look at, look at, it dropped down, did the Petri dish thing. I was worried about the metallic inks, but... Don't worry about the metal. Look at. Oh my God. How cool is his head? <gasps> you guys, I love him. I really don't know what I'm going to do with an octopus. But I want to make like a hundred more. I could put him on a board and do like a mixed media piece with him. Oh my God, how cute is he? Come on, focus. Focus. See his little uh, suction cup tentacles? Look at the depth. That is crazy cool. Okay, I'm probably going to look at him for about a half hour more, but you guys probably don't want to. Look at that. He's so cool. I love him. I was so worried about the metallics. And there's no glitter in him. That's just the metallic inks and um, the rainbow ink. Oh my God. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Cool, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. He was kind of a tricky little sucker to get out. But, um, so worth it. He's so cute. I love him. All right, so uh, I will list this mold in the Amazon shop below. Um, uh, like I said, the marabou inks I got from joggles.com. I'm sure they sell them on Amazon. I don't know. They also sell marabou stuff at franzglitterandmore.com. Uh, so I will see you guys on the next video. Uh, please, if you are not a subscriber yet, please do so and hit the like button and uh, it helps my channel a lot. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.